Hi, and welcome to Inside Mathematics. I'm Desiree Pointer Mays. I'm a teacher and a teacher educator, and I was really involved in the creation of this website. I think the work here is incredibly exciting. I think that if you care that your students understand the meaning behind the math, if you want to build a foundation in younger children's understandings of mathematics that will flourish in more advanced mathematical thinking, this is the place for you. There are resources here that will be immediately applicable to your classroom, to your school setting, to your district work around mathematics. and. As well, you'll see some of the most accomplished teachers in the country using some really robust mathematical tasks with their students, full sets of student work, um, reflective video interviews around the teaching and learning going on there, and so on. These are rich tasks that have been developed by some of the most prominent mathematicians in, around building sequential understanding of mathematics. This is not drag and drop. Uh, unrelated tasks, but this is a really robust way of building your students' thinking around mathematics. Teachers who have used these materials in the Silicon Valley, which is the heartland of innovation in the United States, have found that it builds understanding of mathematics not only in students, but in teachers themselves. I'm going to take you through these materials. I know that teachers are busy, and I hope that this brief tour will help you get a sense of what's here so that you can dig deeper and apply these ideas to your classrooms. Let's begin. There are three main sections of this website that immediately pertain to your classroom work. The tour of Inside Mathematics involves conversations with accomplished educators around the concepts in this, web, in this website. So if you're a classroom teacher, you're going to find conversations among the classroom practitioners whose work is shared on this website. If you're a math coach or a principal, you're going to find your colleagues talking about how they get these issues going in schools, in classrooms, among teachers, building teachers' thinking as well as student um, learning outcomes. Then there's a second section where there's tools for educators. If I click there, and let's say for example I'm a seventh grade math teacher, I can click here to tools by grade and I can get a sense of what are those core mathematics ideas for my grade level. Number and operation, probability, algebra and functions, and so on. If I click back to the Mars assessments and scoring rubrics, I'm going to find those tasks, scoring rubrics and analysis, developed for lots of different content areas in my um, discipline. So these are listed by name. Here's one about sale. Here's one called Pedro's Tables, Winter Hat, Odd Numbers, so on. This one, Pizza Crust, if I click here, I can see the task itself. All of these are PDFs so that you can print them for your own use. And uh, as they come in, you'll get a chance to see. Here's the actual task. I can take a look at how this engages students in thinking about area and perimeter and proving to themselves what the idea of a square unit of measure really means. Um, similarly, if I go back, uh, I can take a look at the um, what are some questions for teacher reflection that pertain to this task. So this, if I'm a math coach, for example, I can have teachers work this task, examine the rubric, take a look at what are those key mathematics that this task is trying to address. And then you can actually take teachers through or work through on yourself on your own uh, these examples of student successful examples of student work as well as those student misconceptions. Um, you can see this entire Pizza Crust toolkit packet and print it out for your own use. But then you can also jump to this example of, pu of a public lesson using this task in a 7th and 8th grade math setting. So you can get a sense of here are these tasks again, the task, the rubric, the ideas, the questions, but you can also then click to this lesson video to take a look at how did she plan this lesson? How did she introduce it to students? Well, how did she take them through these key problems? How did she close this as, an, as a task? How did the coach who was there debrief this task with some students? And how did Antoinette herself debrief this lesson with her colleagues? You can also take a look at individual student samples of work that were generated in this video. So if you take a look, for example, these will pop up. You can see here's one child's task. You can see the, the student think sheets, for example. You can go through by clicking next the entire set of materials that were created for this particular lesson. And then you can also say, here's the student, the video transcript, here's this whole set of student work samples, and so on. 
So in this, you can actually go between Tools for Educators and Classroom Video Visits. I've just showed you one route that began at Tools for Educators, led through Classroom Video Visits, but if I click up here, I can actually browse these by public lessons. If I click over here, I can see public lessons, which are these entire lessons, problems of the month, which are intended to be used by entire grade level, uh, entire school level settings. Uh, in this case, we just have one grade level that's captured, but it gives you a sense of the related materials that could apply to an entire school-wide um, tackling of a mathematical concept. And then number talks. In this case, we have Fran Dickinson taking his students through a particular guess my rule, where he's talking about functions, input and output, and having his students try and do some mental math around that. But if I click to this public lessons, I can see, if I scroll down here, there's Antoinette again. I kind of came in through the back door before, but this is the front door for the classroom lessons. But I can see also 4th grade lesson, 5th grade, 5th, 6th, 7th, 7th, 8th, and so on, all the way through advanced mathematics in high school. I hope you really enjoy this work. I know that I've learned a great deal from and with these teachers and students. Enjoy.